mean, I think if you understand the level of toxic a person is, you can limit your, mm -hmm. I guess, um, how often you're around mm -hmm. them. Discipline. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to come down to if someone's down. disciplined. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if it's your husband, if it's your mom, your yeah. they're not... Yeah, they it's going hard. Our way. <laughs> yes. yes, it's really hard to cut a toxic person off that you deeply care for. Mm -hmm. And that that was my experience in my last relationship. Mm -hmm. I deeply, deeply cared for this person and to completely just cut off all ties. It's still to this day really hard and I have not cut all ties, but I also know what limits I have for a person. And it's just being alone has really given me the time to, I would say, learn my limits with other people. Mm. So being alone, you do not want to surround yourself with somebody who is toxic all the time. No, I mean, as much as possible, get away from the people. Right. But at the same time, use your time alone to really hone in on growing yourself and staying away from toxic people and or limiting yourself with toxic people. Let's be honest, okay? We are in my bedroom <laughs> and I got kids and we're talking about a long time. You think we got about 30 minutes to get a long time? No, we don't. The door is supposed to be locked. How it's not locked and they just open the door with the dog. I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy your alone time, honey. Right. Okay. But, I mean, speaking of kids, speaking like, of kids, we have mm -hmm. young kids. You have teenagers, mm -hmm. but like with young kids, being around them all the time, you know, not that like they're you know necessarily like toxic or bad, but like we still need our mm -hmm. alone time to grow ourselves mm -hmm. and figure out what our goals mm -hmm. are, what routines we want for ourselves mm -hmm. without everything mm -hmm. you know stopping and ending mm -hmm. with them do you mm -hmm. agree totally i realized um about a year year and a half ago that the more reflective i am the more effective i am and i can't be reflective without all the chaos with mm -hmm. like there's no way when the dogs are going crazy and the kids are hungry and trying to do dinner and baths and finish up emails for work that you can be reflective a on your day be on your habits, see the things you want to work on. Like there's no way you can be reflective in pure chaos, truly be reflective. I think it takes that quiet and still time and even, you know, trying to hear from God and trying to read or trying to journal, it does not come out, you know, necessarily the way that I, I want it to come out when it's all this background noise, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, you're filling yourself with all this chaos and then at the end of the day, you're like, you know, what, what did I accomplish? What did I, did I better myself? Could I handle that situation better? Those are questions like for me to be more effective as a wife, as a friend, as a mother, where are the areas in that day that I could have, could have done better, could have responded mm -hmm. better, could have had more patience, could have slowed down, could have, you know, whatever the case may be, but I can't do that if I'm not reflecting. Okay. And that has to happen when I'm alone me and God, me and the Spirit, me and myself, just bringing it in and saying, okay, I'm reflecting and I'm calling out my own BS. Like that's what, I mean, that's mm -hmm. calling it out. And now I can be more effective for my, for myself first. You know, my, Mama Bridget, wise woman, a minute ago when you said selfish, no one wants the term selfish over you. But she taught me years ago that it was okay to be selfish when it came to myself. Because if I'm not being the best person that I can be, if I'm not setting boundaries with people, if I'm not doing the things that it takes to make the best me, then I'm not going to be the best mother. I'm not going to be the best wife. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be the best friend. I'm not going to be the best career woman. So she said, honey, it's okay to be selfish. And I had never heard those words, right. you know, kind of like the fitness thing now, like clean your plate. That's what we've always heard. But if the portions ain't right, then you overeat it. You know what I mean? Right. Like. So what we've been, do not be selfish. And that's what I've always heard until she told me it's okay to be selfish. And when you break that layer down for yourself and for everyone that you love, we've got to be selfish enough to better ourselves. Mm -hmm. And for me, that takes reflection mm -hmm. and stillness and quiet and alone time. Mm -hmm. And knowing what it takes, being mm -hmm. aware of that. Being like aware. You're getting to 
getting to know like mm-hmm. during this season is mm-hmm. what like how much time do you need what do you what feeds you mm-hmm. what drains you mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. yeah that's definitely spot on mm-hmm. Because yeah. when you're in a go, 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 and whoever that, I mean, for us, it's like kids, husband, kids, activities, mm-hmm. you don't have neither. And that's why we're like, grow yourself, honey. Like, you, you won't be filled. But it's like, you're always wrapped up in the taxi driver mode. Okay, got to go pick them up. Got to drop them off. Now they got that event. Now they got that event. Now I got to go get this one because he's got this event. And then all of a sudden, your day has been spent catering mm-hmm. as women. Don't we cater to everyone around us? Even if you don't, they, no kids are involved, you're catering to a significant mm-hmm. other and forgetting all the things mm-hmm. to better yourself. That's good. Mm-hmm. And then you're tired the next day, so you probably don't wake up early to right. have that time. Yeah. And then you go straight into like more chaos, mm-hmm. more chaos. And then a couple of days later, you're flipping out like you've worn the same yoga pants every single day. Like, And now the pressure and stress right. and yeah. at any moment. <laughs> you know, like those moments of like, yes. <laughs> if that next driver, like whoever you are, you had nothing to do with my pure, pure chaos, but you just cut me off. And now, you know, whatever the case may be, there's going to be one little hair that right. touches you the wrong way. Mm-hmm. And because you feel like all this mm-hmm. anxiousness and stress and no alone time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so he has to make sure you find it. God didn't yeah, want us to do life time. alone, but I don't think he said never to have alone time, right. you know. I mean, I think it's in the word of... Yeah, I mean, we've, he needs, we need to have that communion with uh-huh. him. It's so important. Mm-hmm. I mean, shoot, I was just, I think, was his last week.